friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Nilma and in this video I am going to teach you gradation of colors. By showing you an example of braided wash and flat wash technique, I will explain you how the gradation in colors takes place and how you can use them for your watercolor paintings which is really very important. So please do watch the whole video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel friends for more watercolor painting videos. So enjoy painting friends. Here friends, I am listing out all the materials which we are going to require for gridded wash or flat wash technique. I am going to use a very white clean palette I'm going to use the paper from Brewster which is 25% cotton and I'm also going to use watercolors tube I'm basically going to use a red and blue and if you're going to learn watercolor painting you have to learn the name of the colors for watercolor we call it crimson and this is a Persian blue color a container filled up of clean water and a Sibyl hairbrush so here you can see that on my watercolor sheet I have already made this kind of five boxes because I'm going to categorize the graded wash in five G1 G2, G3, G4 and G5. Basically a watercolor painting is made in two to three washes but it completely depends on the painter. He can also put three to four to five washes to complete and give a finishing touch to his painting. So I'm going to show you five gradation of colors using crimson and Persian blue. So I'll pour both the colors on my palette. Taking a very light amount of Persian blue. And the next I'm taking crimson red. It's very important that your palette is white so that you may clearly see the transparency of color. The graded wash is the most important technique for learning watercolor painting. First of all, we'll take a lot of water and a little bit of crimson red and mix it. Okay. The first graded wash should be the lightest you can make for checking you can also use any other color pad to check the color you have created and then you can put the first wash okay keep your watercolor sheet on a degree of 45 to 35 degree angle so that you can understand the flow of color and this is a very simple flat wash which you have to create on this So this is our first wash again we are going to take some crimson red mix it in check it it should be a bit darker because it is a second wash Okay, this is the second wash then I'm mixing some more red checking it on my palette and also a paper okay it is much darker This is a third wash again mixing some red color let's give the fourth wash And finally, I'll take a whole amount of crimson color to show you how dark this color is.
okay so you can see here very clearly that there are five different shades appearing from one color itself this is crimson and this is the real color when you use a lot more amount and this is the lightest color and we define it first grade wash second third fourth and fifth in the same way you have to practice for at least g1 to g7 or g10 so that it would help in your watercolor painting now we'll practice the next color which is blue so again i'm going to do the same with the blue color to show you how the gridded wash work i'll take a little amount of persian blue Remove the excess water using the same paintbrush after cleaning. In the same water, we are going to mix some more amount of blue then and make the second gritted wash, which would be a bit darker than the first. Now again I'll mix some more blue in the same water. And finally we'll take a lot of amount of Persian blue, color it directly. Dear friends, I have shown you how we can do gridded wash by which you learn how the gradation of color takes place and the technique by which we have painted each boxes is a flat wash technique. You have to give a plain wash. In the same way, I have done multiple practice for learning watercolor painting. I advise you to do the same to learn watercolor painting because this is the most basic and the first step of the watercolor painting which is really very important if you did find this video helpful friends please do like and subscribe my channel for more watercolor painting videos and techniques